J.P. Morgan Chase prepares a $1.9 billion MBS deal, and the CFPB director defends the agency's decisions ahead on Thursday's News Wrap. <laughs> J.P. Morgan Chase and Company is preparing to sell a group of mortgage-backed securities worth nearly $2 billion, the company confirmed to M-Report. This credit risk transfer is expected to reduce the risk borne by U.S. taxpayers and bring more private capital back into the mortgage market. In addition, this transaction will help restore private sector securitization necessary component of the broader recovery of the housing system in the U.S. A poll released by the U.S. Mortgage Insurers found that 49% of Americans believe that the government is not doing enough to prevent another taxpayer-funded bailout of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Likewise, 48% believe that the private sector should bear the risk for the responsibility on mortgage loans that go bad. 19% said that borrowers should shoulder the losses, and 12% said that it should be the government. In its first appearance before the House Financial Services Committee since September, Consumer Financial Protection Bureau Director Richard Cordray sat before the committee to defend his and the Bureau's recent actions. The director named many of the Bureau's accomplishments in his opening statement, but Republicans and even some Democrats on the committee were skeptical that the Bureau's actions are fulfilling its mission to protect consumers. You can check out these stories and all the latest happenings in the industry right here on our site. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again Friday at TheMReport.com, your source for the latest news and strategies in the evolving mortgage market.